Michel, is it true that if you study in France from abroad, that it's obligatory to sit at a Parisian cafe at least once per day, sipping coffee and cappuccino while you watch people from the street? This is immigration attorney Parviz Malakruti. I'm here with French Lebanese attorney Michel Massar. He's also our resident expert on French legal matters and how to study in France. So Michelle and I did a video a year ago, how to become a lawyer in France. It got a great reaction online. We had a lot of people contacting us, asking us questions about how to study in France if you're not French. So this is a follow-up video we're gonna do on that. So first and foremost, thanks for being here, Michelle. And let's get right into it, Michelle. What is the process for somebody who wants to study in France who's from a different country? Well, it will depend first if this person is an um, EU citizen. If he's an EU citizen, there is a specific program. If, it's, if this person is a citizen of one of the 44 countries listed and a member of another special program, for example, the United States, uh, Mexico, or India, for example, and then you have the, the normal program that like any other country, and you go through the embassy and the regular process. Okay, so just to recap, there's a special program first for 44 countries. So if you're in one of those 44, you have to go into that. We'll get into that in a moment. Secondly, cool. secondly there's a procedure for if you're a European Union, an EU student. And then third is kind of the catch-all pro uh, process for anybody that's not from one of those 44 countries or from the European Union. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. Plus, I would add, the, first, the EU program is for any EU citizen, even if he is in a resident in a non-EU country. Okay, got it. So let's get right into the process for the 44 countries. You mentioned India, I think Mexico and the United States as some of those 44 countries. If you're a member, so first of all, if you live or you're a citizen of one of those countries, how do you start to, to get on the path to study in France? Okay, so first for your viewers, they, I, th I think you, you, can, you can add the link in the description of the video so they can go check if, uh, if the, country, the country is part of the list. So uh, there is a special program and it's called Campus France, Campus France. So you, you can go and check this program online. Uh, it's made to make it easier for students to come and study in France. So this program will handle the whole process from the visa application to help the student find the university they want to apply to, to find the program they want to study, and then to get the visa. Once they get admitted, this program can also help them to find uh, somewhere to live or to help them uh, learn about the French system, the life in France, etc. So it's okay. an all-in-one program. Okay, got it. And just to clarify, does this process you're describing include exchange students, or is this just for students who want to start from scratch uh, applying to and attending a university? Uh, uh, this isn't for exchange students. This is for foreigners that want to study in France. Okay, got it. So I appreciate that. We're going to include the link to those 44 countries uh, below in the video description. Let's move on to the second process for if you are a European citizen. So if you are an EU citizen, even if you're not living, living right now in one of the EU states, you, you would basically apply as if you were a French student. So if you are applying for the first year of the bachelor degree, you would go through a specific website that we call Parcoursup. Again, for those interested, the link will be in the description. And if you are applying to any year but the first one, you would apply straight with the university. Okay, got it. Okay, so now moving on to the third process. If you're a citizen of any country that's not a member of the European Union and it's not one of those 44, how does it work? Is it just a free-for-all? Does it mean you just have to find your own way? So you would have to refer to the embassy because even if you are outside of this 
of these programs. You could have a specific program to your country, but basically you would have to first apply to a apply through the embassy to get uh, authorization to study in France, and then apply to the university. Okay, got it. Okay, let's move on to something that everybody is always interested in, which is cost, money. Okay, <laughs> so um, of course I'm a lawyer. I attended University of Miami School of Law. Um, that's where I got my Juris Doctorate from. Uh, I graduated in 2012, and I believe the year I graduated, I paid 40 or 41 thousand dollars per year. Okay, uh, France is much, much more economical. Tell us exactly how much more economical it is to study there in France. So for French citizens, EU citizen, and some of non-EU, but I don't remember the exact detail, but you, 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 would, you can easily find all the specifics on the Campus France website. Uh, the cost for the first year, it starts uh, it start with 170 euros, and it goes up to 600 something uh, in the final year. Uh, recently, uh, recent, okay, so this this cost was the same for anyone a few years ago. Recently, it changed, and now it's more expensive for foreigners. Uh, it starts with at it starts at 2,770 euros. 2,770 euros, yes, for uh, the bachelor the, per year for the three years of the bachelor degree, and then. 3,770 euros for a per year for the master degree. Okay, perfect. And of course, just to recap for those who, who might not be familiar, uh, tip, the bachelor's degree in France is typically three years, and then there's two levels of master's degree, master one and master two, so master Absolutely. one, master two, which yeah. last one year each. Okay, Absolutely. so yeah. typically a lawyer coming out usually has five years of post-high school, school schooling, although technically, if I'm, if I'm correct, Michel, you can possibly have four, just one bachelor's degree and one master's degree to practice law. Is that correct? If you want, yeah, if you want to take the bar exam, you could you could take the, the exam with only master, uh, so four years, the okay. first year of master's degree. Okay, perfect. Okay, so uh, before we end the interview, I just want to wrap it up with a quick question about what, in your opinion, are the biggest advantages and disadvantages of studying in France. So we already spoke about cost. Obviously, that's a big one. If you're coming from the United States, it's quite cheap. Obviously, if you're coming from other countries, it depends on your country. What do you think, Michel? Well, I would say the life in, in France. You know, like uh, a lot of students actually come to France, not not truly really for the universities, but only only because they want to live here. So I, I think this is one of the main uh, uh, attractive aspects of studying in France. Michel, is it true that if you study in France from abroad, that it's obligatory to sit at a Parisian cafe at least once per day, sipping coffee and cappuccino while you watch people from the street? If you want to pass the exams, yes, it is. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, got it. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, so we have cost and lifestyle as well. So let's let's move on to the next thing. Are there any disadvantages? What what are the top one or two disadvantages, in your opinion, of studying in France? One of the biggest disadvantages, and it's even more of a disadvantage for the foreigners, is that you can't study in English, or it's really rare to find. Uh, English speaking program. So it's maybe the, the only thing that I would say we should work on to enhance. Got it. Yes. And I can speak to that from firsthand experience. I attended the University of Versailles, Saint Quentin. Uh, that's where we met each other. I went there for one semester. The entire curriculum was in French, except for one class, which was only four sessions and only one unit with an American law professor. So it is true, had to do everything in French, uh, all the oral examinations, all the written examinations. And uh, so, yeah, you, you basically need to learn the language if you're going to survive. Yeah. This is really the main disadvantage of universities here. Okay. Oh, but to be honest, they are working on it. So now you, you can find more master degrees, uh, not all, all, always entirely in English, but part of them are in English. So it's getting better, but we are not st still not uh, uh, to the international standard. 
Understood. Anything else you want to add about studying in France if you're a foreigner before we end? I, I don't think so. Do you have any other question? No other questions. Thanks a lot for your time. Stay safe in quarantine. <laughs> sure. You too.